I'm telling him not to put the, on the battery so you don't get shocked. established in 1931 it was because of if you go to Ado section here we are in Colchester but if you go to Ado section where the name Ado starting from mm. that area is rich in citrus farming so because mm. that area is rich in citrus farming usually we also understand that elephants were roaming freely in this whole Albani area so because they were roaming freely in this whole Albani area now they were having access to go into those farms because they were not uh, conserved in a, in a park or in an area where they were not allowed to go out of the park so because because of that they were now having clashes with the farmers because elephants were busy hustling for the oranges as they love oranges a lot while these farmers are busy trying to protect their orange trees mm -hmm. from the elephants so there was a clash of which um, the farmers were starting to shoot those elephants until 19, 1931 1931 that's when the government intervened and stopped the killing of elephants by then they were only 11 elephants which were left in this whole Albany area. Wow. So for those 11 elephants, they were then now kept in an original Ado Elephant National Park which was 2,000 hectares. So 2,000 hectares has been expanded to now plus minus 185,000 hectares, putting us on the third largest in South Africa. The largest nice. is Kruger National Park followed by Halagati which is a transfrontier in between South Africa and Botswana and then Ado Elephant National Park though they are still waiting on expanding Ado Elephant National Park to be the second largest mm. all right nice. so since 1931 until 1954 there was no proper fencing or no proper solution to try and contain elephants from escaping the park so what they were doing then now they start to feed those elephants with poor grade oranges so they were picking now poor grade oranges in the farms delivering them into into the park then feeding those elephants so by feeding the elephants with the poor grade oranges now it gives the elephants you know um the comfort the comfort zone home, yeah. they were now staying within the feeding point 
which was an advantage to the farmers because now they were not escaping now mm -hmm. and hustling into the farms. Yeah. So it helps until 1954. Why 1954? 1954, that's when the um, it's only that we don't have it here, but I will show you once you come across it. That's when the fence, which was the first elephant proof fence, was developed by, by the park warden at that moment. His name was Graham Armstrong. So Armstrong using the railway tracks as poles okay. and the wooden poles as droppers. Then the thick cable, that was mm. an elevator cable. Mm -hmm. The thin one, that one is, was an electric fence to give it a shock so that it can hold thin. So since that fence was developed in 1954, only one elephant managed to escape from that elef uh, from from that fence. His name was Hapo. Hapo was a massive bull. He used his massive board weight, leaning on the fence. The fence goes down. He get access to go out. Then the fence spring up like nothing happened. After the fence spring up like nothing happened, by then, uh, Hapo was already outside of the parking. Then by the time the park warden has realized that Hapo was out of the parking, they then tried to chase Hapo in back into the farm, but Hapo resisted after hapo resisted they realized that if they can use maximum force of course they can win bringing hapo back into the park but now they were fearing that hapo will influence others that this fence is breakable and oh. that was not going to be good because mm. they thought they find a solution mm -hmm. then that was the end of hapo in the late 1950s around 1958 59 they then brought hapo down so at the main camp we have the original head of hapo hanged mm. in our museum i'm sure by the time we get there if we still have enough time i will show you where the original head of hapo is there at the main camp so uh since then until a decade ago we never heard of any elephant managed to escape from that fence why i said a decade ago the reason being that's when we introduced the new technology, which is this one we see here. New anti-predator electric fence in our main boundaries. Though we are still using that um, Armstrong elephant proof fence to section our, par our parky, but this is the main boundaries. Okay, wow. so at the Elephant National Park, it's only that we are a little bit low, but if we are on top there, I will show you. As far as you see the Zubik Mountains, there's the area, the area where we call, we call Zubik Mountains. As far as you see those Zubik Mountains and beyond those Zubik Mountains, stretching down to the Indian Ocean, is still Ado Elephant National Park. And Ado Elephant National Park owns a portion in Indian Ocean, which makes Ado Elephant National Park the only national park in the whole world to be the home of the big seven. So from those big five, we usually know we add two sea life, which is Southern Right Wow and White Great Shark. And Ado Elephant National Park, again, is the only, uh, now we are talking of the park, not on, not the national park, but only park, be it a national, be it a private, be it a zoo, be it a sanctuary, but is the only park in the whole world to have a record of twin elephants, which is unusual for elephants to give twins, but right now we have got two sets of the twins, which is the first set of the of the twins is around nine years old at this moment mm -hmm. while it's the other set is about four years old now so i'm sure i will be lucky enough today and see some of those uh twins and we'll see the unusual mm -hmm. wonders of Ado. okay so um there's a lot to tell regarding Ado Elephant national park but uh you know i know we still have another business we need to also cover so i uh when wherever you have something you want to know more regarding uh, Ado Elephant National Park history, let me know and I will be assisting you. Remember, I just browse it. Like I take the introduction, I take the body and the, 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 the conclusion. It's more like a summary, which I did at the moment. Okay. But if you need more, if you need to know more about Ado Elephant National Park, let me know. Then I can give you more information as you want. All right. So this is not all about um, animals, guys. It's all about nature.
So remember the sense of hearing on elephants is very poor, but the sense of sight, uh, sorry, the sense of hearing is very good on elephants, while the sense of sight is very, 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 very Say, I'm repeating the same thing. The sense of sight is very poor, but the sense of hearing is, is very poor. Don't walk in our way, you won't see them. Oh, these two are like playing. Frolicking. So that's the black bag jackal. So usually the black bag jackals, whenever you see them alone like this, it simply tells you two things. The first thing which they are telling you is they are hunting. If they are hunting, usually they spread out. Mostly they stay in pairs. Or they are, it simply tells us the partner passed away. Aggressive at all? Sometimes they do. Yeah. That was a nervous tone. Mm. Um, is he making you nervous right now? No. Yes. He, he is. is. Oh. Okay, so Hello. let us be silent. That one is a complete nine year old. A wow. complete nine year old.
between his legs. I own them out. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> 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 you need a picture of that. Oh, my camera's good. Here, I'll go on for you. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Wind back, wind back up. Yeah, that, that's oh. a little scary. We got it. Okay. I thought you guys were talking about his toss. <laughs> I did too. Oh, my gosh. I did too. Look at the bottom of the screen. That looks so cool. I guess it just, they had like, <laughs> they don't have toenails or anything. Do they have little toenails in the front? Yeah, they do. Back the tusks <laughs> up. Mm -hmm. Massive. He's going to have a snack too. I'm thinking no. Find out. Will they try to go through? Oh, no, they know. No, they know. There's electric fence there. Oh, oh they, they know. On the ground. Yeah. So probably you, they won't. You planned this, didn't you? Did you you knew this they were going to do here? this. Exactly. Look at those tusks. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bye, guy beauties. Big boys. Big boys. I got to say, I love Yellowstone National Park in the United States. But after visiting Addo Elephant National Park in South Africa, wow. The incredible variety and number of animals that we saw was just amazing. So if you find yourself in South Africa, I would highly recommend a visit to Addo Elephant National Park. Well, that is the end of our bonus episode and of our trip to South Africa. I hope you liked these videos. If you did, please like and subscribe and be watching for our next video to drop.